What do you tell a prospective customer who wants the deep relief, natural appearance of stamped concrete when they have an existing concrete slab? What do you tell the owner of a commercial location who wants the beautifully textured look of slate, river rock, wood plank or stone inside the premises? These are problems that have plagued concrete contractors for years. But in the next few minutes, we're going to introduce you to a new product that will revolutionize the decorative concrete surfacing industry by allowing you to offer the customer exactly what he wants. It may come as a surprise to you, but all of the patterns you're seeing on the screen are stamped over existing concrete surfaces without having to pour a two-inch cap or replace the slab entirely. Introducing Super Surface, the amazing new concrete polymer that allows you to install beautiful stamped patterns on almost any existing surface, indoors or out, with none of the attendant messes caused by pressure cleaning, color hardeners, and release powders. How is this possible? Let's look in on a demonstration given recently at Superstone headquarters in Opelika, Florida, where we're going to install random stone and Caesar stone stamp patterns on two slabs. As always, proper surface preparation is essential to the success of any overlay. Equally important is the repair of any existing cracks in the slabs. As this scene indicates, unrepaired cracks will appear again in the new surface. In a few minutes, we'll show you how Superstone developed a crack repair system that really works. For now, let's return to the demonstration site. On the first slab, we'll be applying Caesar Stone, a pattern that's favored in many large commercial applications because of its unique, pedestrian-friendly texture. As with any overlay system, proper surface preparation is a must. So these surfaces have already been degreased, acid washed, and skin coated. In this area, we're mixing material for the base coat. And over here, the stamp mix is being prepared in a mortar mixer. Now, here you'll notice a departure from the normal concrete stamping process. The bag mixes are already pre-colored in a limitless selection of colors to ensure uniformity and color integrity, making interior applications possible with no ambient contamination. Before we squeegee the base coat on, we're misting the surface with water to retard the drying time. You see, the base coat has to be wet when the stamp mix is applied. Only squeegee an area that can be covered with stamp material before the base coat dries out. It's best to bring the stamp material to the application area in smaller amounts, as we're doing here. Now we're spreading it with a gauge rake, in this case set at 3 eighths of an inch, so that it's uniform in thickness throughout the surface of the slab. Immediately after the mix is applied, we smooth it with a round-cornered Fresno. If no forms are in place and the edges of the slab are ragged, simply add additional material to these edges and clean them up with a finishing tool. Another major departure from normal concrete stamping procedures is our use here of Superstone liquid release agent. One of the reasons why the super surface polymer system installs as cleanly and easily on interior surfaces as it does outdoors. We spray the Superstone liquid release on the tools as well as the area we're preparing to stamp and place the tools. The tool for the Caesar stone pattern we're going to install is called a feather edge texture mat. It's a non-linear, non-directional pattern which imparts surface texture rivaling natural stone but contains no grout lines, making it ideal for difficult area configurations. As you can see, this mat is extremely flexible and almost 5 by 5 in size, so fewer tools are required on the average job. As we tamp the pattern into the surface with an impact tool, you'll see another advantage of the Superstone liquid release. 
A corner of the tool may be raised at any time to accurately determine whether the desired depth of the pattern has been reached or if additional tamping will be required. Now the last tool is removed so we can see the intricate natural stone surface that this pattern tool has provided. Let's move over to another slab where we'll apply a deeper textured and more definitive pattern, random stone. As with the stamp we just finished, we've already prepped the surface of the slab and applied a skim coat, a base coat, and of course, the polymer stamp material. We're placing and stamping the random stone pattern now. As you can see, this is another non-linear, non-directional pattern. The tools we're using here are color-coded. As long as two tools of the same color are not placed next to each other, you'll get a totally random effect with no obvious pattern repeats. By the way, the supersurface polymer system allows considerable open time before stamping, depending, of course, on the temperature and humidity. The final stamp tools are removed, so we can see a close-up of the deep relief of this random stone pattern. Any double lines in the finished pattern can be cleaned out with a super stone mortar tool, just as we're doing here. In a random stone pattern like this one, grout lines are never uniform in size, so precise spacing is not that important. The antiquing effect, normally obtained through the use of release powder, is done here by mixing one part of solvent-based concrete sealer with one part of xylene, then adding powdered release agent into the mixture until the desired color is obtained. The day after the stamping, the antiquing mixture is liberally sprayed onto the surface and allowed to dry. If the surface area is to be highlighted to a greater degree, use a camelback sponge to brush xylene lightly over the top to remove excess coloration after the surface has dried and prior to sealing. Once the surface is completely dry, Superstone solvent-based sealer may be rolled, brushed, or sprayed onto the surface. In the case of high temperatures and low humidity, it's best to dilute the sealer slightly and apply several thin coats. In areas of normal temperature and humidity, two coats of undiluted sealer will suffice. Now, let's look at another example of the superior flexibility of supersurface concrete polymer. We've taped this slab into four sections to show you four different surface overlays. On this slab quadrant, we're going to do a simple broom finish, so we'll begin by applying the base coat just as we did for the stamp process. As usual, all the normal steps in surface preparation have already been done. We'll allow this bond coat to dry, then apply the broom finish mix. Incidentally, the Superstone Concrete Polymer Instruction Bulletin provides all the details of proper mixtures and installation techniques. Here you see the broom finish being applied to the surface with, of all things, a broom. On the next quadrant, we're going to apply a knockdown texture over an existing knockdown pattern. We've troweled a skim coat down to even out the surface, allowed it to dry, mixed the spray material according to the directions in the Superstone installation bulletin, and now we're applying it with a hopper sprayer. The spraying completed, we knock down the texture mix with a trowel keeping a wet rag handy to make sure the knockdown trowel is always clean. Notice how clean and crisp the textured pattern is. Over on the third quadrant, we're taping a tile design on the surface. And now we're rolling on the base coat. And we follow this by spraying on the knockdown material. On the last quadrant, we've applied a brick stencil. The base coat is gray to simulate natural mortar color and we've pigmented the knockdown mixture with a natural brick colorant. After spraying on the material, we'll knock it down with a trowel. Once the material is dry, we spray the surface with our antiquing solution. We're applying a pigmented sealer to three of the quadrants. 
two thin coats on each. On the brick pattern, we'll apply clear sealer. Let's have a look at the results of our efforts. The characteristics of the super surface polymer allow us to remove the tape and stencil the following day and still leaves crisp, unbroken grout lines in the knockdown material. A final look at the patterns we stamped earlier shows conclusively that super surface concrete polymer more than lives up to its promise. The depth of the pattern, the beautiful surface texture, you be the judge. Could you tell the difference between this and a stamp job on a new slab? Let's move now to a vital step in surface preparation. As we stated earlier, unrepaired cracks in the existing slab will result in their appearance in the overlay material within a short period of time. Most crack repair attempts have one major fault. They just don't work. Now. Superstone is proud to introduce you to one that does. The new Superstone Crack Repair System. Available in kit form, it contains everything you need to quickly and effectively repair cracks in concrete slabs. Let's look at this new process, step by step. We'll start out by scrubbing the surface with a commercial degreasing agent, such as the one pictured here, agitating it with a stiff bristled broom. When all traces of grease, oil, and any other surface contaminants have been removed, we pressure clean to remove all residue. The next step is to acid etch the surface to ensure that we have a proper bonding profile. We're using one part muriatic acid to three parts water and working it into the surface with our broom. When the effervescent reaction of the acid on the concrete stops, the acid has done its work. So again, we pressure clean to remove the residue. The surface, and particularly the crack, must be free from all moisture before the repair is started. So we're force drying the surface with a blower. When the surface is completely dry, we'll brush the epoxy into the entire length of the crack. Into the leftover epoxy, we add enough sand to form a thick but still pourable consistency. We pour this into the crack, pushing the material in with a putty knife. On top of this, we immediately sprinkle sand to provide a good grip for the polymer material we're about to apply. As soon as the epoxy is tack free, we'll mix the polymer material to be used in the repair process. 50% polymer and 50% powder, following the directions that are included in the kit. Now that the polymer material is thoroughly mixed, we brush off the excess sand from the repair surface and trowel the mixture onto the surface to a depth of approximately 1 16th of an inch. The fabric mesh is laid on the polymer and forced into the material. Now, we trowel the surface smooth and feather the edges to zero. Allow this to dry completely before applying the top finish coats, usually anywhere from 4 to 24 hours depending on location, temperature and humidity. Now you can apply your overlay materials with confidence. As a point of review, we'll look in on actual super surface job installation on the driveway of this beautiful home in Miami Beach, Florida. Insensitive to freeze-thaw cycles, Superstone polymer materials can be installed in any climatic region. As you can see, this driveway has already been stamped in a European fan pattern. A metal tool was used, and the owner found the surface configuration to be a pedestrian hazard, particularly for ladies in high heels. The first step was to level the surface with a skim coat, which has already been done. Here, we're misting the surface with water prior to applying the squeegee coat. After paper shields are applied to protect the adjacent areas, the squeegee coat is applied to a section small enough to permit the application of the stamp mix while the base coat is still wet. Once again, the tool and the area to be stamped are liberally sprayed with Superstone liquid release agent. Control joints in the slab must always remain in place, so they're accurately marked and recut once the material has dried. Since the Caesar stone pattern is being used here, 10-inch borders will be installed. 
as well as bands in the center of the drive to provide some contrast to the unbroken texture of the Caesar stone. This is accomplished by taping paper shielding on these areas and troweling on fresh material which will remain smooth and texture free. The following day we applied Superstone Super Seal and by the way Superstone Clear Concrete Sealer may also be used. Now we can see the dramatic change in appearance from this to this. The super surface concrete polymer system is just that, a complete system, with every component structurally and chemically matched to ensure perfect results every time. How does the super surface concrete polymer system benefit you, the installer? It allows you to give the customer a beautiful, deep relief stamped surface, indoors, outdoors, even over existing stamps or overlays. It allows you to stamp today and seal tomorrow, a real time saver. The pre-colored bag mix allows for accurate color matching should any future patching or repair be necessary. No area contamination from messy color hardener or release powders. It provides unparalleled flexibility and superior results in all overlay or spray system applications. Superstone. Ride the wave of the future with tomorrow's technologies today.